we are also getting closer to the All-Star break. Mm. And at the All-Star break, everybody always looks at their team, and you anticipate where this thing's going to go. Right. You take stock. You look at see what do we got? What do we need to go? Where we got to get? And you look at the Braves, and you know, I said yesterday, there's not a lot of things you need, maybe other than the pitching department. Well, and here's the thing. Like, when you talk about contenders, there's probably right now, because it's still a long season, but in every division, there's probably two or three teams that feel like they can contend. That will fade by August 1st when we get to the trade yeah. deadline. And we heard from Cohen, the owner of the Mets yesterday on the show. And, Mike, he was talking about, you know, if we're still in the same position, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to pay some more money so that we can continue to suck. But the Braves are in a different situation. And I just want to put this in perspective for Braves fans. It is an off day today. Marlon's in here tomorrow. Do you guys realize this is the best 80-game start in the 126-year history of the Braves? Now, I want you to think about that. I want you to think about all the teams and the pitchers and the players and how many teams we said, this is it. 80 game start. It's the second most home runs they've hit, Mike, through 80 games ever. 147. So this is a special season, but I'm not done. They went 20 and four in June and we're still, well, technically in the month of June. Mike, they've hit 55 home runs this month. But that's, like I said, that's who we are. This month. Eight homers. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it with Grant the other day, looking at some of the all-time great Braves teams, the 98 squad, the 2003 team, where you had Chipper Jones just balling out with uh, 106 RBIs, Andrew Jones, 116, Sheffield, 132. And those guys were banging home runs, too. But, I mean, this team has got even more than that team had. Second most home runs through 80 games ever. They've got the best record in baseball. They also have a guy on pace to hit 51 home runs. You guys know who that is? Matt Olson, 51. And then Spencer Strider, Mike, is on pace to have the highest strikeout rate of all time, 14.3 in his outings. So when you talk about this Braves team, there is no reason not to believe this is the year. Now we're going to get a chance to go back, and we're going to get a chance to go win another World Series. Mike Acuna on pace for 38 and 73. <laughs> 73 stolen bases. Now, I don't know if he gets to that number, but these are all reasons, guys, that you should believe that what you're viewing and watching every night and seeing is real. No, I, brother, you have to sell me. I'm down with it. I just think this team is, is the only thing, the only limitation, the only thing that would hurt this team in a best of five when, you know, your bats, all these things that we're doing right now can get a little tight. Because you get a little bit, maybe you run a little bit better pitching. The only thing that can jam us up right now is not having the pitching to go into some of these best of five and then hopefully the, the remaining best of seven series. We are one through nine, not to mention guys coming off the bench, guys you can use in the lefty righty, the way that uh, Ozzy Alves is hitting for both sides of the plate, everything we've talked about. And again, the flexibility of the sticker shows and how he brings his lineup card. You know, how you, can, you don't lock in. You know, Olsen was, it wasn't carved in stone that Olsen had to bat second. He drops him down, more production. Best home run rate and strikeout rate in June. You better not leave your seat, go to the bathroom, get a beer or anything, because you might miss something you've never ever seen before. That's how good this team has been. Now, Mike, I don't think they're going to stay on this pace. I mean, if we do, then you're talking about breaking some all, all-time records. But all this stuff adds up to us being really good. And as we approach the All-Star break, there's no doubt in Braves' minds and the Braves fans, at least me, that this is a World Series type team. This is a World Series type team. Those things that we just laid out, our World Series type numbers where you go, man, that's record stuff. 404-726-0929. It is our Solomon Brothers Diamond Text line. But that's when you go back and you know, if you're a Braves fan, you remember the great teams. Again, you had everything. I mean, you had all the pitching. There was then even the pitching, some of the guys went away, like when Glavin went to the Mets, etc., or Smoltz went to the bullpen. You still had lineups one through nine that were loaded. But this team has got unbelievable. I mean, one through nine, we just laid it out for you. They got everything. I just think, Carl, because of the, everything you just said, yes, it's a special team. And when you have a special team, you've got to lock in at the trade deadline to make sure you go into the World Series. And you got to do that by grabbing one more starter, two pieces for the bullpen. Okay. That's the only weakness I see. I don't see any weakness on the offensive all side. All right, so let me ask you this, Braves fans, with all the things that we just laid out, doesn't that make you reluctant that they're going to do those kinds of things? You got, you, look, what happened last year? We made the most, one of the more historic comebacks in Braves history, other than maybe the worst the first in 91, to catch the Mets, win the division, and then we, got, we were totally flat on the pitching. Creed wasn't good. Strider was banged up, and unfortunately, you know, other than I was in Morton, right, was Morton that had the good performance in that one, I want to say? I mean, you just, you got beat by a Philly team that you were far superior to. They just got hot. And then Philly, Philly I think, has gotten back to more of what they really are again this year. All right, so 
put, Turtle, let's let's put something on our, our Dukes and Bill uh, poll question here on, on Twitter. And, and with the things that we're laying out, best 80 game start in 126 year history, you feel like they're going to be compelled to do something like Mike's talking about? Mike's not wrong. He's not wrong about what happened last year. But if I told you, hey, we had the best start we've had in our, in our 126 year history, we got the second most home runs through 80 games ever. We've got the best strikeout rate and the best home run percentage. All these things, and you say, well, I don't know. Should we go make a move or two? Yes. Yes, because we've had 100 win teams here that didn't go to the World Series. We've had 101 teams here that never got out of the first round of the playoffs. Oh, no, it's Bobby Cox 20 years ago. But still, you've had teams. You've got to, the, I think the, the, uh, the statement would be strike while the iron's hot. You've got to go all in. Think of it as a, as a poker game. All in. I'm all in, and I'm going to make sure, because right now, I'm hoping Freed will bounce back. We all know when Freed may return, but is Freed going to be effective? We don't know when Kyle Wright's going to return. Will Kyle Wright be effective? And with all due respect to the great job, the guys like Allard and everybody else have called up who's done, Schuster goes back down. We'll talk about that later. I still want to get one more frontline starter. That way, I'm, I'm going into this loaded for bear. The way the Dodgers were in years past. Then I got, then I got a problem. There were times in the Braves crawl, they literally had guys with 18 wins they couldn't even get in the postseason, you know, rotation because they had so many other starters. We don't have that this season. Are you thinking World Series? Oh yeah. 404-726-0929. Chris, let's take a couple of phone calls. Are you thinking World Series? Today's an off day. They are rolling through the top competition in both leagues. It's not even close. They're making teams look like, well, they're not that good. And these teams are good. Are you thinking World Series, and is Mike right? Do we go all in, or do you go, wait a minute, hey, look at all the stuff we're doing. I mean, we got the best record in baseball. We don't need to do anything, Dukes and Bell. Yeah, I mean, if you go back to 2021, you had to replace the production of Ronald Acuna, and you did that through Jock Peterson and Soler and uh, Eddie Rosario. And then, of course, obviously, you know, those guys were just so clutch. This year, this team looks incredibly clutch. I think Michael Harris had his. Everybody goes through slumps. You know, Olsen's had some some patches. And this is a team which, even if you do have a guy who's not hitting Austin Riley, wasn't hitting early, you kind of feel like you've got through some of your road bumps or speed bumps, right? You, you it's do. smooth sailing. You do. Knock and, wood. And, and, and again, listen. Somebody's going to slump again. I don't know who it is. Yeah. It's going to happen between well, you know, now and September. I don't want to jinx it, but you know, Acuna might get uh, – there might be a patch after the Ulster, but you don't know. Absolutely, Mike. And, and, again, it's one of those things where you go, all right, we hope that doesn't happen. But it is baseball. It is 162 games. And, by games. the way, I don't want Olsen in the home run derby. You don't want to take away from his swing? I don't want it. No, I'll tell you why, Bo. Because we've done the numbers, and it's not a curse. But it is 51% of guys who compete in the home run derby have a worse second half. Don't want that. 51% of all baseball players probably have a worse second half. Right? Yeah, but I'm telling you, I don't want my guy in the home run derby. I don't want the torque on the body. I don't want the extra wear and tear. I don't care. And the home run derby is stupid. It was fun. Yippee ki -yay. Back, 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 back. I want Olsen dialed in. I don't want anybody doing anything that can risk any degree of injury after all the things we've gone through on this team the last three seasons. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll say it. I'll be that guy. Screw the home run derby. I don't care. Let let the uh, polar bear go hit 50 home runs and he can take that trophy home. Who cares? Braves. Uh, <laughs> Braves are on a historic pace, 53 and 27, heading into to play on Friday. Should they look at making a splash? And you can say, yes, we need another starter, reliever. We need more outfield depth. We're good as is. All of these numbers say we're good as is. And that is the problem we're going to be tasked with. All these numbers say, well, we don't need to do anything. And, guys, when teams feel like they don't need to do anything because the team is playing so well, right. this is the mistake they make. It's not going to stay this good as it's been for the next two and a half months. It's just not. And so you've got to be prepared for that. Now, I don't doubt anything Alex Anthopoulos does. It's Dukes and Bell at Sports Radio mm -hmm. 92.9 The Game. But this is one of those years you should be thinking about the World Series. This is not hyperbole. This is not Mike and I hyping this up. It, this is a really good damn ball club. And all these numbers and records we're talking about say that management might probably going to go, well, I don't know. We, yeah. we got guys coming back. Yeah, but again, you need, you, the bullpen is still not as good as it was last year. And it's certainly not as good as the year we went to the World Series. The bullpen has got to be improved. I mean, look, they've been doing good work. It needs to be better. And by the way, for a bow, Cajun bow, still, still basking in the warm afterglow of the LSU College World Series Championship from the Sabermetrics website. So who better than those nerds, Carl, to figure this one out? Pre-derby to post-derby, where players did participate, OPS drops 50 points, home run percentage drops one home run percentage. 
if for guys that did not participate, OPS stays the same, home run percentage goes up. And I'm going to tweet this out so you can look at the number. Look at the number. Did you say one home run? <laughs> percentage. Percentage points. Percentage. One percent? Percent. That's a percentage point. You had somebody send you that like that yes. means anything? Bo, uh, you can uh, have your guys in the home run derby and get that T-shirt. I don't want my guys participating. 404-726-0929. Are you thinking World Series? If you're not, something is wrong. Jeff, you get us rolling here on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. It's Dukes and Bell. Jeff, are you thinking World Series? I've been thinking World Series since spring training. Mm. That's, that's World Series a bust every year. This team's been great for the past five years. And now it's coming to the peak. All these young guys, it's time to finish the drill. It's time to finish. This team, again, right now through 80 games, guys, is better than the team that had Freddie and Dansby on it and won the World Series. It's better. Michael and Decatur, where it's greater. Michael, hey, man, what do you think? You're thinking World Series? I'm thinking World Series. Um, but who is frontline pitching? Who has frontline pitching? Alex and Dopolis doesn't go out to frontline pitching. Look at the last two years who he got as a, as a trade for a starting pitcher at the deadline. Yeah, it was uh, Jake Odorizzi last time. We've also got some other guys that have done worked out pretty well. We've got some innings eaters. Starting off with, I want to say, with Dallas Keuchel. That was a strange year with some pitchers around the sideline. Free agents didn't get signed until after, like, spring training. But we've had a mixed bag. We've had uh, Kevin Gosman come in, kind of resurrect his career he as a pickup at the trade deadline. All I'm saying, guys, is, yes, Carl. everything Carl is saying is accurate. But the postseason is different, and you've got to have more pitching, and I've got to have a better bullpen than what i got now. Brandon and Statesboro, hold on. Joe, Paul, John, I want to know what you guys think. We got to get on board with this. This team is doing record things.